Hello, Kamau County. I am out and about and thought of something. I decided to remake this vlog because um, there was a few errors in there. Uh, I just picked up some water from the alkaline place on Elliot Knox. Uh, I've been a water nerd for a really long time now, close to 20 years. And unfortunately, New Braunfels puts a neurotoxin in their water, fluorosilic acid. That's why most cities have gotten rid of it uh, since the 80s. It's academically and research proven that it does nothing for your teeth. It crosses the blood-brain barrier and causes a myriad of issues, especially with in utero. However, um, I didn't... Oh! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Let me move. I pulled over. I think she's in the sun. There you go. Um, I broke my teeth today. I picked Emberlyn up and her head hit my teeth and blood went everywhere. And I was born without permanent teeth under my baby's teeth. So, uh, the... You can see that it was terrible. It's still painful. So hopefully by next week, I won't have two missing teeth when I have to speak. That's not what this vlog's about though. This vlog is about kind of looking at what it's like to be a single person running for office and the aspect of not having, I don't know if y'all knew this, but when you have to file you know, your campaign finance reports and daycare slash babysitting childcare is not an expense that you can write off or pay for out of your campaign funding. Um, so like I have three events next week that are at night, um, where I will have to find childcare and you know, I mean, it gets really expensive when you when you have events over and over. Mind you, two of them are campaign. One of them's not. One of them's just uh, an interest that I have in CCCA. And, but two other ones are do have to revolve around um, the aspect of running for office. And luckily, a fourth one next week is during the day, the leadership luncheon. And that's during the day, so she'll be at childcare. So anyone who's running for office, whether even if you're Republican, Democrat, Independent, you know, especially if they're single, it would be, you know, it's a great time to reach out to those people to see, hey, do you need to, um, do you need me to watch your kid for a few hours while you go to this event? Like I've taken Emberlin quite a bit, and it's, you know, there's that. Oh gosh, she's being super loud. She's the only infant here in a room full of 100 people. You know, um, it's just, it's, it's always at night when it's their ride around their bedtime and you have to weigh, should I take them, should I not? Um, and then, you know, sacrificing not being home into the routine. Luckily, I've had friends and family, but just so you know, it's something to think about, not only for the Texas Ethics Commission, but just for other people that travel, especially like senators and uh, House Representatives, people that travel that have to go from county to county. And so it's, their drive time is way more than just a county co commissioner's position. Um, so it's a time to kind of support people that are around you if you know anyone that's running, especially if they're a single parent. Um, to, uh, you know, say, hey, what's up? Do you need support? Anyway, I'm signing off. Uh, I hope you have a good day and just wanted to talk a little bit about what it's like to run for office as a single mom in Kamau County. All right, bye-bye. You say hey? Say hey? Hey? I'm pulled over, yes, by the way, I'm not driving. <laughs> Okay, it's time to go.